Hello and welcome to Differential Discussions. I'm Melissa. And I'm Dave. And today we're going to be talking about color illumination. A little really different sad. than what we normally talk about. I know, I know. Yeah. It's this is irrespective of blood film or not, right? We could be looking at a gram stain or it doesn't matter what we're looking at. Um, but this is about setting our tool up, uh, or in this case, the microscope, the appropriate way for maximum performance, mm -hmm. which in my experience, Melissa, I don't want to like out anybody, but I've uh, encountered lots of people who uh, maybe don't even know um, how to color this scope if they had to. Um, and, you know, most scopes are like close enough, right? Um, but we're not, we're not in for close enough. We're in for. Well, and I think that goes for students. Yes. New laboratorians and experienced laboratorians, because I think we've met all three that have no idea what Kohler is. <laughs> I think you're right. <laughs> so this one is one that we're excited for, yeah. to, to share with you at Kohler. And I'm excited that I was able to get these two videos together. So what you're going to see in the video, once we play it for you, is actually a view of what in the microscope looks like and what I'm doing outside of the microscope at the same time. Yes. Yeah, this is uh, this is fun. This is definitely um, a production difference for us is uh, how we usually operate. I know. So, yeah. So I think we have to start with what is Kohler. Ah, mm -hmm. yes. Um, so, yeah, would you care to do the honors or I can kind of stumble through it, I guess? Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> so um, the whole idea of Kohler illumination is to make sure that the light that we're imparting on the specimen. So in our case, it's going to be a blood film we're going to be reviewing is that we're using the uh, most, uh, using the light source most efficiently. Okay. So um, without Kohler, the light is kind of being projected everywhere. And what we want to do is narrow the focus of that light to really just be on uh, the specimen only and the field that we're viewing at that particular uh, time. So you'll notice the light demands might change when we're moving uh, objectives and things like that. So um, mm -hmm. that's the best I got. Yeah, no, I think that's, that, that is what Kohler is. It's really setting up your microscope so that you're getting the best quality image. Yeah, definitely, yep. All right, so I think we can hit play and, and see what happens. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> So I'm just sticking the slide on there and I'm going to bring it into focus and then I'm dropping the light because, well, the microscope and the camera. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go. We have our, so let me pause it before I do anything. We have our field in view now and it looks like we're on 10X. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. And so you can see down here, I've already started moving around this piece down here. Mm -hmm. I'm going to. So let's see what I'm going to do. Perfect. And so as she turns this and lowers the, the tightens the diaphragm, right? You see the light kind of come in. And then we see this kind of shape, right? There's a little bit of a geometric shape that appears uh, outlining the, the image. Yep. <clears throat> so, and this piece is really what's going to help us focus that light between the uh, this iris diaphragm and the condenser that's really how we're going to focus the light <clears throat> so what we've done here is we've just kind of closed the amount of light that we're allowing into the field mm -hmm. and and so you can see that we're seeing this this little geometric shape here because yes. of how we closed it off using this piece right here and if you're not seeing the defined the well-defined edges of the shape you're going to need to adjust the position of the condenser and might need to come down a little bit to come in clearer focus. So you can see here now, right? Yep. Right there. I'm playing with the, this is a condenser knob. And mm -hmm. so I'm going to move the condenser up and down. The reason is my Kohler is set and it doesn't change because I'm the only one that touches my microscope. So no one's going to change my Kohler. So I'm going to now move the condenser up and down so that you can see what it looks like when you move the condenser. So if you go into the condenser and it looks like this, where it's a blurry image and you can't see the geometric shape with sharp, clear edges, then you have to keep adjusting that condenser up or down until you get it in nice defined edges, because that is how you're going to know that your condenser is set to the correct place on your mm -hmm. microscope. Yep, it is to make adjustments so much easier. Okay, so I keep playing with it. <clears throat> I bring it back. 
Perfect. Then the other thing that I play with are the knobs, the condenser knobs and move around that geometric shape. So sometimes you'll come to the microscope and if someone's touched it or, or moved something, you could find this geometric shape over here or over here or somewhere, but you want it directly in the center of your field, of your view when you're looking inside of the oculars because you want the light centered. This will definitely affect the sharpness of the final image. If your Kohler is way off to the left and you're operating with too much, uh, the, the diaphragm's much too open, right? Much too much light going in there. It's inefficient and will give a, 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 a blurrier image. Um, so yeah, these set screws take a little bit of uh, practice. <laughs> Fair to say, right, Melissa? Absolutely. Okay. So be patient with the adjustments as you go, and you might find that tightening them moves it in a direction you might not expect. So just work on one axis at a time and slowly kind of dial it in. Mm -hmm. um, and then as I get it closer to the center, I start to open that light up more, and it becomes easier to see the small degrees to which you might be off. And, and we'll see that happen in the video here, I'm sure. Yep. And then again, just making sure that it's in sharp focus, that geometric shape. And now I'm going to open it. So as you open it, you, you want to make sure that you're going to bring it until it's just outside of your field of view. And you can almost still see the corners. And you want to do that to make sure that your light is actually centered. Because if you, you think you've centered it, but then you open it up and you have more of, well, this half is out and this half, you can actually see the edges. Then you need to redo the collar and move them further into the center when you have that geometric shape and its smallest size. So this may take you a couple of times to get it perfect, but again, it's, it's worth it because it's going to give you the best quality image. And you're also going to get significantly faster at this the more you do it. Absolutely. Yeah, it becomes very much intuitive um, uh, eventually. But yeah, that's, uh, I think that's the Kohler procedure, right, Melissa? Yeah. Anything else? Yeah. Uh, nice. All right, and cool. easy. So yeah, what I'd, I'd like actually is um, for those of you that get the uh, opportunity to try this, let us know if, uh, if it really helped your uh, opportunity, your experience on the microscope and the overall uh, image. Uh, we're happy to hear comments and things like that. Absolutely. You can either leave your comments here on this video or you can reach out to us on social media. But either way, thanks for watching. Yeah, thanks for your time. Please like, subscribe, and hit the bell if you'd like notifications whenever we post a new video. And feel free to reach out to us on social media or via email with comments or suggestions about future content. Thanks.